In this video, I'm gonna share with you guys how to set up market profile on the Thinkorswim platform. Plus, I got a volume profile tip for you guys in regards to the ever shifting POC dilemma with the volume profile indicator. I found one easy solution. So you wanna make sure you watch this video to the end. Let's go ahead and get started. Now that we have a blank chart, we're gonna to go to a quick study, all studies, the second M. Then we're gonna go ahead and find monkey bars. We're gonna double click that to add the indicator to our charts. Now you're probably looking at your chart saying, Mike, this looks nothing like the thumbnail for this video I clicked on. I know we need to change some settings. If I scroll the chart over, you'll see one market profile indicator. And what this is, is basically a composite profile. And we need to go ahead and change some settings. So from here, we're going to click right up here where it says studies. From there, we're going to go to edit studies. Now we're going to click this little cog wheel right here. And what we want to do is we want to change this setting. And when the market's not quite as volatile, we can set this as one, but we're going to put this on custom. Then we're going to set the custom row height to one. I'm going to click up. I'm going to click, click OK and click apply. And what you can see is this gives us a little bit more finer detail. However, we still have a composite profile and that's not really what we want. Aggregated period. We need to go ahead and scroll up, change that to one minute time period on chart we need to set this to date or where it says time per profile we need to set that to date multiplier keep this as one um, if you add the multiplier up that's essentially going to make it where it's like two days three days four days per per profile um, profiles i just set this to a thousand show monkey bars yes show playground yes now the playground is essentially the value area high value area low why they call it the playground why they call it monkey bars i have no idea right here for the playground percent i like to set mine to 68 i have used 70 in the past but i prefer to use 68. now if i go ahead and i click ok from this point on and i click apply we'll still notice. So as you can see, when we went ahead and applied, we only have one profile still. So right here, we forgot to change this setting right here on expansion. We wanna go ahead and put no to that, click okay and click apply. And bada bing, bada boom, you can see we have a volume profile chart. Now, what I'm gonna do is I really like using a setting of two under custom row height, but again, this is gonna de depend on market volatility. So I'm gonna click okay, click apply. And now we can see, and we can read all the numbers within the market profile. However, this still does not look like the market profile chart that I showed you guys in this thumbnail. There's a few more settings that we need to go back and adjust. If we come over here and we click on the call wheel we can scroll down and as we scroll down we can also see where it says show volume show volume poc show volume style for style i'm going to go ahead and put all then i'm going to leave this as yes yes i'm going to go ahead and scroll the volume percent down to 68 similar to what we did on the market profile as well i'm going to click apply now you can see we also have a volume profile chart right next to the market profile chart now there are some things that we need to adjust to make this a little bit nicer and neater i'm also going to share with you guys one of the tips and tricks that i found out about the shifting poc level here in just a few moments we're going to come right back over to the cog wheel and if you want to change the color of the volume profile chart you need to select right here where it says global. Go ahead and that'll give us a drop down menu. And right here where it says point of control, I wanna go ahead and make this the gold color. And then for the volume itself, meaning the volume profile, I'm gonna go ahead and just make this the color blue. Now, if I go ahead and apply, this is looking very similar to the thumbnail that you saw a little while ago. And one thing that you'll note, one of the problems with the volume profile indicator when I set it up in the video prior was the fact if we look at where the POC is, roughly 4510 we'll call it. If we were to change the time period on the chart, the volume profile or the POC level would also shift. Now with setting it up like this, look, we're still roughly right around 4510. So by using the monkey bars and using the settings that I just shared with you guys, you guys can see that the POC is a lot more accurate. It does not shift around as we change 
you know, the, the different time frames on the chart like the volume profile indicator did. So again, this is pretty nice. Also with market profile, it is different than volume profile. Market profile is what's called TPOs, time price opportunities. Now, one of the things that market profile charts are good at is finding single prints. And what a single print is on a true market profile chart, these numbers would actually be letters like alphabet letters, A, B, C, D, E, F, G through each 30 minute time period of the market. In monkey bar terminology for thinkorswim, they actually have you know numbers and we can see single prints. And what I mean by this is we don't have two numbers stacked out. Like right here, we have a zero, then a seven, but right here we have zero, and then a zero, then a zero, then a zero. All of these single zeros are what is referred to as single prints on the market profile chart. It's also very good for finding poor structure high and poor structure lows in the market. Now that we have the market profile indicator on our chart, let's talk about some other settings. For here, we're gonna come right back over to studies. We're gonna to go to edit studies where we click on the cog wheel and some of the other settings you might wanna consider. Maybe you don't like, you know, the way this profile looks. Keep in mind, if the number, if you have, if the numbers are too big for you, too large on the market profile, if you adjust this down, that will basically give you a more finer granular detail, meaning where they can fit more numbers in per price point. Um, Again, I'm gonna leave this at two for this example, but some of the other settings. So right here, you can see where it says market open. If I go ahead and I'm gonna set this on no, and I want you guys to pay attention to this profile real quick. Now, as I come over and I go ahead and I change this right here, and I change this to market open price, I'm gonna click this on yes. Do you see anything on this profile that actually changed? Is there anything that is sticking out to you that has changed on this profile? If you said right here, this number one, winner, winner, chicken dinner, essentially what that does is it puts a square around the opening price of the profile. So if you wanna see that, that's important to you. You wanna make sure you have that setting turned on as well. Now there's also a setting for market close price. If I go ahead and I toggle this to no, click apply, do we see any changes? And you may or you may not see the change. I'm gonna go ahead now and I'm gonna go ahead and reapply it. And let's see, because it's not very distinct in this example, under market close, I'm gonna click yes, click okay, click apply. You might say, well, Mike, I don't see it. Well, let's go ahead and change the colors. Let's scroll on down and see if we can find where that setting would be at. I believe it's under global. And if we go to closing price, I'm gonna make this um, stand out. Let's see if we can make this white, click it there, click apply, and do we see it? Well right here it's hard to see on this profile but right here is actually where it's showing let's see if there's a better example on another profile right here on this profile you can see the little white triangle it's very very minute on this day the closing price was right here this little triangle thing that you have right over here so again once your eyes are trained to see it you could obviously see it at first glance it is a little bit hitting also keep in mind with a lot of the plots on the volume profile or the market profile chart all right so let's talk about a few more little settings we come right over here back to the cog wheel now i want to scroll down here where it says plots now this is where it could be a little bit challenging i was trying to say challenging but a little bit deceiving so if we look at profile high we set the color to magenta Profile low, we set it to white, and we click OK and click apply, you might say, Mike, nothing happens on the chart, and you would be absolutely correct. When you come down here back to the setting, I don't know why they have it like this, but you have to click show plot. On profile low, show plot, and let me see, I'm just gonna go ahead and click show plot on all of these real quick. And now click OK, click apply. What do you know? The magenta line for the high, the white line for the low. We also now have the value area for the market profile also shown over there. One other place we can go to look for settings is gonna be all the way down here on the global tab. And this is where you're gonna see all the different colors. Keep in mind the playground is the value area level for the um, for the market profile charts. And then you can see, you know, the volume value area, the volume profile terminologies they use are correct. The why they use monkey bars and playground and things like that. I have no idea. If you guys do know, let me know in the comment section down below. Why do you think they call it monkey bars? Why do you think they call it playground? And if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below. Turn on the bell notification.